The ratification of Iraq's May 12 parliamentary election has given momentum for government formation. Outspoken Shia cleric Muqtada al Sadr Sayron won. Hashid al Shabi's Fatah was second. Incumbent Prime Minister Haider al Abadi third. The election body confirmed following contentious partial manual recount on August 8. On August 19, Iraq's federal court ratified the election results, setting into motion constitutional timelines after three months of political uncertainty. Iraqi Prime Minister Abadi has called on President Fuad Musum to decree for the new parliament to convene. The parliament shall convene its first session within 15 days following ratification of results by the federal court. The first session will be presided over by its eldest member, who is 79-year-old Muhammad Ali Zaini, a secular Shia born in Najaf from the Democratic Civil Alliance. Through a direct secret vote, the speaker and his two deputies will be selected in the first session. Then, the speaker will select the next Iraqi president who can't be a member of parliament. The president will direct the biggest bloc to form a government, including a prime minister, within 90 days. Three distinct political alliances have emerged because of ongoing talks. One is seen close to Iran. It includes Hadi Alamiri's Fati and Nouri al-Maliki's state of law. Another is thought to be close to U.S. interest. It is composed of Sadr's Seyrun, incumbent Abadi's Nasser, Amar al-Hakim's Hikmah, Ayad Alawi's Wataniya, and the New Generation. The third is a group of undecided components. The newly formed Sunni National Axis, Kurdistan Democratic Party, and the Patriotic Union of Kurdistan form this third group together with the addition of the Kurdistani opposition parties hold as many as 100 seats. The biggest bloc needs at least 165 seats to have a majority. The Kurdistan region's parliamentary election also is scheduled on September 30.